stop. The Barrow County Sheriff's Office is addressing the shooting at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. Let's listen in. I am uh, Chris Hosey, director of the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and we wanted to come back uh, this afternoon and present you with a little more of a timeline of the events that have taken place here today and, and what we know up to this point with the investigation. At approximately 10.20 a.m. this morning, the Barrow County Sheriff's Office uh, received alerts about reports of an active shooter and radio traffic from school resource officers concerning the same concern or having the same concern. Within minutes, law enforcement was on scene as well as two school resource officers assigned here to the school who immediately encountered the subject within just minutes of this report going out. Once they encountered the subject, the subject immediately surrendered to these officers and he was taken into custody. Additionally, what I want you to know as of now, there are four uh, individuals who are deceased from this incident. Nine that have been taken to local hospitals with various injuries. Uh, of those that were, have, are deceased, two are students and two are teachers here at the, at the school. The priority right now for us within this investigation is to gather all the facts, to make sure that we're accurate with it because this is a murder investigation. As the sheriff mentioned earlier this morning, the shooter is in custody. His name is Colt, that's C-O-L-T, Gray. He is a 14-year-old student wow. here at the school, G-R-A-Y. He is a 14-year-old student here at the high school. Again, he has been taken into custody. Uh, he, is, he will be charged with murder and he will be tried as an adult and uh, handled as an adult. We are coordinating these charges and obviously this investigation with District Attorney Brad Smith, who is the District Attorney for the Piedmont Judicial Cir uh, Circuit here. Since early this morning, we talked with you, and since the incident occurred, numerous interviews have been taking place through our investigation with students, faculty, uh, as well as any other witnesses that we could identify. Law enforcement had a very, very swift response to this incident once the, the incident was, was determined that there was a concern here. Those resources, whether it was in that response or throughout this investigation to assist, came obviously from the Sheriff's Office here, from uh, other local law enforcement agencies, state law enforcement agencies, and the uh, federal law enforcement agencies as well. Uh, to include, not to be left out, multiple EMS personnel, multiple fire personnel, uh, and agencies. Those agencies responded here as well today, and I am extremely grateful, as I know the sheriff is, for that quick response and the partnerships of working here together uh, with what all has gone on. Currently, from the investigative perspective, we have crime scene agents and, and other special agents from the GBI, from close to a dozen of our different uh, work units from across the state. Uh, that have responded here today to work on this investigation, again, collecting evidence, conducting interviews, and so forth. I do want to pass this along, uh, that if anyone has any information uh, that wants to be passed on concerning this investigation, that they can do that anonymous, anonymously at our tip line at 1-800-597-TIPS or 1-800-597-8477. They can also report this on, uh, by downloading the See Something, Send Something app. That can be done by Android or Apple phones, either one. Uh, to, if they need to report any, uh, any uh, tips concerning this investigation. Uh, wow, two students. So two students. Two students. And, and two teachers you was killed. This on is still a very active investigation. There is wow. still a lot that is very fluid. Uh, there's still a lot of interviews man. to be conducted. Uh, that will continue on into the night as well as, as crime scene work and collecting and, and gathering evidence. 
But what more is more important for me to mention here? It must, to it, you it must have been a personal vendetta. That what it looks like. Uh, sympathy to I think uh, the two teachers and two students. students yeah, were, he already made up his mind who he was going for. Uh, regardless yeah. of, of where they were. He wasn't going for everybody. He was just going for those two. Uh, on them. And remember, I said earlier, like, this community. Possible, uh, possible, my thoughts and prayers and along with you everybody you standing ahead. Yeah, 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 behind yeah, me and every law enforcement officer. Yeah, and Patrick 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 Pat
Um, and the thing is, it's like, you know, what up, like I said, there was not people to enter. And, you know, we don't know how, you know, if they're in critical condition, are they going to make them or not? And it's very, it's very, very sad because that, that kid, the kid did plan this. He had to plan this, you know. He was probably planning mm -hmm. this the whole summertime because it's like I said, because kids are starting with the school. So he was planning this. He was probably planning this the whole summer. You know, he probably, something probably happened in, 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 in it's not like he's a freshman. So he did, he definitely had a, a, a yeah, 14. Idea. Five. Yeah, fresh, mm -hmm. he had an idea. So okay, when I go to fresh, when, I, when I'm going to school, when I'm playing this, I'm already what to do and everything. And um, charging as adult is, is the right idea because he had a motive. Oh, he had a motive, and he know he he was doing. It. And you know he turned himself in, locked up. And to me, when it comes to stuff like this, you know that's it's, that's life to me. You just you we you, you kill students and teachers and not injure not other people, man. It's, it's 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 sad to just track it, man. And it's and it's and it, the thing is, it's like you know my daughter, you know when she when she getting a kindergarten and you know going to elementary, you know the first thing they're gonna do, the first or second week is, it's like I said, they got to do the shooting now um, drill. But when if there's a shooter comes around, they got to do the drill and everything. And that's and that's to me that in the school that from the schools, that's the best way you can protect your kids. And the thing is, it's like you know parents don't like that. You know it's always homeschooling and everything. That, that might be a safe a safe bet. And also some of these private schools, there's a lot of, a lot of these private schools don't have metal detectors. There, there's a lot of public schools that have metal detectors, but it comes to charter schools, charter schools and uh, private schools, they don't have metal detectors. And to me, when it comes to all schools, you need metal detectors and you need more police presence in these schools, 